AN Y stock, Sphere 3D Corp. So it lost 8.48% in the last trading session. That was the session of the 9th of September 2023. The stock appears to be consolidating within a longer term downtrend. The last time we covered the stock was sometime in 2022, early 2022. And since that time, a couple of uh, things have happened. We have seen that um, it disclosed its uh, Bitcoin uh, mining output. It was uh, down 16%. That, is, that, was, that was for June of this year, 2023. It was down 16% compared to what it was in uh, May. But overall, for the whole year, or rather year over year, it is up by 434%. But um, when when this news came out, that was on the 17th of uh, July, you know, market participants were not really impressed by those numbers. Um, what we can say for sure, amongst other things, is that, um, yes, it's just uh, this, uh, the most significant is just this um, Bitcoin output it had it, uh, disclosed as of uh, the 17th of um, July. Come the 17th of uh, this month, August, it might disclose more. It might disclose the its output for... Uh, July, you might disclose that, but we don't know yet. But um, what is absolutely certain, amongst other things, is that uh, the stock's um, momentum is improving. The 14 period solutes cash cash escalator is rising as investors begin to purchase uh, shares. And I think uh, they are doing that because the stock is uh, consolidating right now. The volumes are very light, it's getting quiet, it's not, um, uh, it's not, uh, it's not buzzing, it's not a very popular stock, you know. So um, market participants are using various means to, you know, ramp up their, their their positions, increase their position in the stock. It's you know very quiet. These are the times that um, those who are positive about a stock get involved, and that is probably what is going on. You know, that's what's going on. You know, it's not fantastic at all. What is going on with it? it's it's not trending at all. It's consolidating, just moving sideways. And uh, you can see that the volume for last last trading session was only ninety two thousand lighter than usual so uh, versus an ever average of uh, 130,000 roughly 130,000 so it's not trading high volumes average is only 130,000 so yes that is probably what's happening these the, pe the people who open these positions are probably um, doing it for the long term they're not um, they're, the chance that they're going to close it in the next month is not very high you know but all of these are all speculations but um, in any case we have um, on its um, on its um, one day chart, we have uh, upper projections of all the way towards um, of the way towards four point zero eight dollars, and uh, we have the one before that is uh, three point zero one. The one before that is two point six one. The one before that is uh, two point three seven. And that's just slightly okay just slightly, probably where it is right now 2.17 okay yes 2.17 is just slightly above where it is it's currently closed at 2.05 but there are indeed downward projections there's a downward projection of uh, 1.93 1.63 1.29 and uh, yes all the way down to 0 0.2 0. Two one one, I think zero point two one one. But if you look at the weekly chart, you'll be impressed if that if uh, that's going to make you happy. The projections there, you do, they don't um, look like uh, there's anything there, but there is a lot there. We have a projection of one hundred twenty six point eight six dollars. Uh, well, if that makes you happy, you can run with that seven seven point uh, three seven seven point three nine. You know, but uh, in a, I mean, what a chance that those will occur. But um. Like I said earlier on, if that's going to make you happy, you know, just uh, stick with that. Uh, this is what we printed us off uh, during the last trading session, just a few minutes before the market closed. It reached uh, 2.25. So it does, uh, it's quite volatile, 89% uh, um, intraday. Um, is that what it says? 89% is 10-day uh, volatility. Yeah, 89%. So during the regular session it does um, it does show some strength you can see that this is the one minute chart so let's see what um, it has on the 30 minute chart we might just get a sense of what the volatility is like yeah we have uh, prices all the way towards around uh, 2.45 dollars 
and it ultimately closed at 2.05 so it's quite volatile it was quite volatile in the last trading session this is a 50 15 minute chart let's look at the 30 minute chart and see the kind of uh, range we have there as well yeah um yes some uh, you know before that as well in the 30 minute chart it has something had prices all the way towards that uh, 2.6 dollars or there about yeah around that two and okay not close to two point not not two point six me around two point five and then yeah so some decent amount of uh quite a decent amount of a decent uh, trading trading range it had in that last trading session but in any case um it's consolidating within a longer term downtrend uh, momentum is improving according to the or uh, based on what the or the 14 pillars loose gas escalators in, is indicating implying that um uh, rather as investors begin to buy up uh, shares because this is a quiet period you know nothing fantastic is fantastic fantastic is going on out there you know so that, that's probably that what's going on you know yeah, market participants are taking advantage of the consolidation to um fill up their positions in the stock so see what you make of it and um, i'll definitely continue to update you thank you very much for watching this video